Hey guys, Mr. T here, just doing a quick video on the skull drawings of your chest piece design. So the last video was about deciding the uh, general shape and dimensions of your chest piece, but that was not an accurate drawing. This, we don't know what angle it is, the drawing's pretty rough, it's not even straight lines. You need to actually draw it with correct proportions from particular angles for the assignment. But it is important that you did some decision making with this drawing quickly so you know a lot about it. Your angle 3D drawing was not to scale, as you don't know what angle it was viewed at. It's just an idea. But now that you know the dimensions that you decided, you can draw your design accurately from the front, back, side. That should say top. Let's fix that up. Top and bottom when you have decided to scale for the drawing. So this is the design that I came up with in the last video. I'm gonna do scale drawings from the top, back, side, front, bottom, but I need to decide the scale. So how do I decide the scale? I have grid here. Let me to go scale. Each square on my grid the sides of each square is going to be, uh, it's up to you to decide, it depends on your space, but to fit all my drawings onto my video, I'm going to say each side of the grid squares is four centimeters long. So I'm going to start off with front drawing. Front. So you need to imagine this thing that's in 3D in two dimensions, okay? Because it's 90 centimeters tall, I can already do some maths to work out how many squares I'll need. 90 divided by four, I'm gonna need 22 and a half squares to be able to draw this. So I'm gonna start from there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. That's the bottom. That's going to be the bottom of my drawing. So let's start from the bottom. What's a rectangular prism going to look like if I'm looking at it straight on? It's going to look like a rectangle. It's 29 centimeters um, in width. So the closest... Multiple of four is 28, that's going to be seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's 28. 28 at seven, so 29 is going to be one more quarter of a square there. That's going to be the base of the, um, the design. So you're going to notice when I start drawing it to scale, it's not going to look quite the same as this 3D drawing, 15 centimeters. So the closest multiple of four to that, because my scale is four for each square, is gonna be um, 12, which is three, three tall. 12 and three quarters. So 15 centimeters is gonna be up to there. So that is my rectangular prism at the bottom. Let's write the dimensions, 29 centimeters, 15 centimeters tall. Now this is to scale and you can see it's not as wide and uh, thin as my drawing here, but we're drawing this to scale now. Just check that the scale is right. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 29 is one quarter, 15, 4, 8, 12, 13, 14, 15 tall. So the scale is working out. Each quarter of a square is one, um, one centimeter because each square is uh, four centimeters. Next shape, lucky for us, it's 15 centimeters tall again, but it's 13 centimeters wide. 13 centimeters, uh, 13 centimeter radius. So across, it's going to be 26. 
Um, the easiest way to handle this would be going from the middle. So let's say the middle was um, here. Doing the radius from the middle, it's going to be uh, three boxes and a quarter. So it's going to be to there. Three boxes and a quarter. Come on. Two. It's going to be about to there. And it's also going to be three and three quarters boxes tall. So one, two, three. Three quarters boxes tall. So that's the cylinder from the side. You can see it's looking very different to my 3D drawing, but that's fine. So from here to here, because the radius was 13 centimeters, it's going to be 26 centimeters across, 15 centimeters tall. Draw the arrows just to be consistent. So I've done the um, box on the bottom, the cylinder. Now I have a really tall box that's 40 centimeters tall. And according to my scale, each box is four. So this is gonna be 10 boxes, 10 grid squares tall. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 tall. We need to decide how wide it is is 20 centimeters divided by four for my scale it's going to be five boxes wide so starting from the middle it should be one two three four five it should be that wide and that tall so put my little corners in can draw the rectangular prism from the side it's just going to look like a rectangle So there is the um, tall rectangular prism that forms the stem of it. How tall was that? It was 40 centimeters. That's why it's 10 boxes. And how wide? 20 centimeters. That's why it's five boxes wide. Almost there. So you can see the dimensions make, drawing it to scale makes it look quite different. But that's fine, that's the point of this process. We have a cylinder at the top that is the same as the one on the bottom. So it's going to be three and three quarters tall. Three and three quarters boxes tall. And it's going to be... as wide as this one here. It's the same as this. So let's draw it the same as that. Three, a little bit up the top. There we go. So that's 26 across because the radius was 13. It's 15 centimeters tall. We've just got the crown to do. So five centimeters, it's going to be five quarters, one, two, three, five, that sort of width, five centimeters tall, so about there, there's your first pyramid, the other pyramids are all the same, so just draw them similarly, similar shape. where they're supposed to be. I'm not gonna be able to see the one on the other side of this one on the front, so just leave that alone. So five centimeters tall, five centimeters wide on all the sides. These are all the same. I'll indicate that with dots. So that is the front. Now, depending on your design, you're gonna to have to draw 
front, back, side. But my design is the same all the way around because the front and the sides is always going to have the pyramid facing. So it's no different around either side. So I was a bit efficient there. So that is my front, back, and the sides. So I don't need to redraw it for that, but I will need to draw the top. Okay, now we need to make some decisions about the top. The widest part of my design is the base, so I'm going to be able to see that. This part is exactly the same size as this, so I'm only going to see the crown here, and then I'm going to see the pyramids. I'm not going to be able to see this from the top. I'm not going to be able to see this from the top, only the base surrounding this cylinder here. So, let's draw the circle representing the cylinder. It's 26, it's 13 quarters, so 3. Let's put the middle here. Let's put the middle here. Three and a quarter. Three and a quarter. Three and a quarter. Three and a quarter. So that's my circle is going to be like that. It's not going to be a good circle in my drawing, but as long as it's to scale, that's what we're after. There we go, that's the cylinder. The square of the base on the bottom. That's going to be... 28. It's going to be 7, 7 and 1 quarter. 7 and 1 quarter. It's going to be 3, 3 and a bit sticking out either side. So 3... It's going to be like that, and they're sticking out. So the square on the bottom is going to be sticking out slightly because it's larger than the circle of the cylinder. It's larger than that radius. So dimensions of that, 29 centimetres. 29 centimeters. The radius here is 13 centimeters. Now I need to draw the um, squares for the pyramids. They're going to be five quarters, so slightly bigger than the. So sort of like that. How do I show that it's a pyramid? Draw a cross in it. Same here, same here, same here. Show the dimensions, five centimeters, five centimeters. That is the top. Lucky for me, because I was uh, thinking ahead, the bottom, what is the only thing that I'm going to be able to see from the bottom is this rectangular prism here. And what does that look like looking from the bottom? It's going to be a square. It's going to be a square that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and one quarter grid squares long. So three, four, five, six, seven and a quarter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one quarter. That's what the bottom's going to look like. So what are the dimensions? 29 centimeters by 29 centimeters. So this is an example of doing scale drawings of a design that you very quickly came up with in 3D and not to scale, suddenly when you start drawing it to scale, the shape becomes quite different when you're being strict about how long and wide everything is. But that is to illustrate that process. Hopefully that video helped you out, and I'll see you on the next one.